Hi, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about working in an office versus working from home. Okay, hey, I hope you guys had a really great weekend. It's been really nice here in England. I mean, it's been like you know, blue skies and warm weather. It's been really, really nice. And today's really nice too. I haven't been in the office this weekend, but you know, today I've been mostly in the office. It seems like kind of a shame. You know, I should go outside and enjoy the weather, which I will do here very soon. All right, so uh, just related to that, I want to answer a question I got uh, last week from Miha Debeljack saying, Hey Eric, what are your thoughts on working from home versus working in an office? Right, so I love working from home. I prefer to work from home, you know, as opposed to working in an office that somebody else owns, right? So when I, uh, yeah, when I was working contracts, working in uh, permanent employees, as, as in a permanent employee, I hated going to an office. I hated getting up and, you know, putting on business casual and going, you know, to another town and, you know, finding a place to park, whether it's a car or my motorcycle, and going into somebody else's office. A lot of times, sometimes it was a big, you know, corporate office building. Sometimes it was just a small office and you go, you sit at somebody, you know, at some desk that somebody else bought on some old slow computer and you just sit there and just die a slow death, I guess, right? So you sit there on, especially like on a nice day, you know, you feel it. Yeah, I can remember sitting there and feeling like, I was in detention, right? I'm <laughs> like, you know, people are outside playing and I'm, you know, just sitting there. And I, I hated, I hated that feeling. It felt very, uh, you felt very constrained. Like you weren't doing your best work. In fact, when you're a contractor, a lot of times you go in there and they'll give you the worst desk. So I can remember, you know, when I think about how much I hate it, I can remember going into one office building where they put me where I'm just facing the wall and everybody's behind me. You can't see anybody. You're just facing the wall and you just sit there and just coat away and they're just, you know, you, you, you don't want, you know, they're, they're watching the clock and they're making sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And I just hated that. All right. So, so when I worked from home, I, I could, and I had contracts where I could work from home a few days, which were, were nice. And I always, you know, I always took that very seriously. So, you know, I'd have like a dedicated, you know, I have a desk that you know, was dedicated for work. You know, I, I would have, you know, the fastest internet connection I could get. I know a lot of people who I worked with who also worked from home, they just were not prepared. They would actually work from the couch or, you know, from, you know, on their slow internet connection or from the family computer. But I was very, very serious about it. I was like, you know, working that way. And even when I was working from overpass, working from home, I, you know, I, I preferred it. You know, too. I, you know, I've, I've spoken to people who, you know, when they talk about going into business, they say, well, nobody's going to take us seriously if we don't have an office. And I don't think that's true. I think you, sh you should be able to work from where you're comfortable. I don't think, you know, I th hopefully we'll get to the point where most businesses are, are home-based or like, you know, set up their own little office someplace rather than this, you know, this global hub. I mean, how many meetings can you have? And, uh, you know, we have so many communi so many communication methods besides, you know, going into a room together that it's, uh, it's much easier. I mean, it was, when you think about it, it's this, you know, getting up, making this huge commute, you know, going through all the hassle, being away from your family and everything so that maybe somebody could stop by your desk and have a chat with you. It just never, it just never made sense to me. Uh, but I know other people were like, you know, you know, who work from home, they said, I actually prefer to work in an office because you get the social atmosphere and everything like that. <laughs> but I never did. Right. So I, so now I work in an office and this was mainly, it's not so much that I didn't like working from home, but it, it got to be where I got so many calls and, you know, so much work that it was, it was difficult for the rest of the family when I'm constantly like, you know, sorry, could you guys keep it down? I need to, you know, take this call. It's very important, all that kind of stuff. And it got to be where, where, you know, the home was, you know, trying to make a home a place of business could be very difficult uh you know if you you because know, kids should be able to to be loud and noisy and all that kind of stuff and they should feel you know when they're at home they should feel like they're at home and not that they, they have to keep it down because you know because dad's working and all that kind of stuff so uh, you know about a year ago i started looking for an office i looked at like all these places in Oxfordshire and uh, you know they were all kind of the same they're all very you know they're very business like and they said well you can rent out our meeting rooms and you know we have this internet connection and we handle all this kind of stuff for you and the guy who shows you around is always wearing a suit which I hated 
Uh, and, uh, you know, and they, a lot of times they want to put you into an office with somebody else. I said, this is a shared office with you and this other guy. And I didn't want that at all. I didn't want to share an office with somebody. You know, I didn't want to, you know, for me making, I, I hate making small talk. I really hate making small talk. So, and also, you know, doing the video once, once a week and all the stuff and putting the green screen up and everything like that. It's too difficult to explain it to people. So eventually I found this office here, which is, which is not, it's not a nice office, but it's, you know, it's above a shop. It's like a 10 minute walk uh, from home and it's just nice. I, you know, I never thought I would, I would like it as much as I did. When I was looking for an office, I was thinking, I was thinking of that, those same feelings of feeling trapped and like you, you, you know, you just want to have the freedom to just be around, you know, be around your family or be around, you know, things that make you comfortable. Let me tell you what, it's so much different having an office where you're, you're, where you're not like, it's somebody else's office, it's someplace where you just, a place where you can make, make work feel comfortable, you can just lock it up, go home, you know, and, and home becomes home and work becomes work. So if you are somebody who's working from home and you, you find any friction with it, I mean, if you, do, if you can find some office space, it's, it's really, really nice. I, I really, really like, I like it so much more than I ever thought I would. Uh, and, you know, and I don't even have, you know, clients come by that often. I, you know, occasionally they do. Sometimes they'll insist on coming to see me here and I have to clean up and everything. But, uh, you know, it's, it's nice. You know, I, to answer your question, Miha, I really like, you know, I, I prefer working in an office, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't think you have to do it to look professional. I think you can be professional based on your work. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.